Put the goddamn button. The you button fucking button. Push, God damn it. Hell yeah, dude. We are live in the studio, Skullface Records. This is my bachelor party day. Um, we don't have any naked bitches, but we got a lot of hot man asses in this place. It's baby, baby. Um, we are having a hell of a day. This is just the first of many fucking awesome things that's going to be happening inside the studio today. Um, we are lucky enough to start off the day with Hashing It Out, one of the most badass podcasts yeah. that has been, we've been lucky enough to put on Skullface Records Radio. It's all over the fucking place. Ladies Ladies and gentlemen, hashing it out. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? It's me, Jerry Hash. And Caleb Thompson. And Caleb like, likes ass stuff. I do like butt. Hey, I love stuff. butt play. You like butt play? Not on my butt. But, well, <laughs> but have, have, you ever, have you ever fucked or put your finger in an ass, bro, and pull out a, a nasty turd? Or No. I have. No. In I your have. own or in a... No. Hey, no. speaking of no. butt stuff, I have a gift for you, Jerry Hash. <laughs> no. Hang on a second. Is it an I got Guys, I don't like butt stuff played on me. <laughs> so if it's a fucking strap on, if it's a all right. Now before he brings this out, I'm just going to tell you this is uh, this is about episode three. Oh god! One <laughs> of y'all are getting Jerry's butthole forced on to you. <laughs> Go ahead and pick him now. Look, so look, know. man! I did not force my asshole on this young lady. So she, just, she wanted to eat it, man. No, she didn't. <laughs> no, she, nobody wants. There you go, eat Jerry it. Hash. There. Guys, yes, brother. Natty. Guys, I got a fucking tall boy natural light here. <laughs> and these guys are going to eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> they go by eating your ass. Come on, oh, man. It's fun. God damn it. Man, I would drink this right now, but I don't drink and drive. So... Luckily, because he'll pull over at some point, maybe he is ass. <laughs> you can drink it, but I know how I know how that usually ends up turning out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not that I drink the the natural light and somebody. Yeah, I have to get you all drunk on the natural light for y'all to eat my ass. Hey! So who, who fucking wants it? <laughs> that, guy, that guy over there is like, fuck oh, that yeah. shit, man. <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Uh, I'm pretty parched. <laughs> hey, bro, not me. I'm a lightweight man. I drank two beers last night and I was fucked up. He was. I'm a druggy man. I like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like alcohol, you know. <laughs> hey, That's right, buddy. I actually don't even smoke pot anymore. But I like other drugs. Nice, <laughs> brother. So I was gonna let you guys know, I don't know if you guys can hear me real well, but Caleb brought me Yeah, bro. See? Yeah, and this made it this is a, a podcast Skullface Records drink. Because that's what started. For, I first heard about it on the radio. Right, you know, right. Like glitter, squirrels. glitter squirrels. And then boom. Ah! Fucking three months later, Caleb. Yeah. Well, on the first, the, yeah. as soon as I stepped in here for the first Does time, you were like, you got coffee? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, drink this pass. <laughs> made me drink that shit. All right. All right. Yeah, it was pretty good. Chug this to hashing it out. To hashing it out. Woo! Woo! Cheers to everybody. Chug, 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 chug. Y'all, I didn't, uh, I didn't chug my Gatorade Zero. Yeah, fucking right. diabetes. Don't want to choke. God damn, that's good. Yeah. That's some good shit, isn't that's it, man? That's some good shit. Right. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still taking it. Nice. So, Caleb, what's going on with you today, bro? Real quick, this guy looks like Wolverine. He, he does. does. Yeah, yeah, Wolverine. He looks like Wolverine. <laughs> that's Booster <laughs> Venus. I like it. You got claws or anything? <laughs> nope. He does what he drinks. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> the claws come out. He's like, hey, motherfuckers. Get that bottle of benchmark going on. <laughs> so, guys, we are blessed to be here, man. Yes. We made the journey. It was like an hour and <coughs> 10 minute drive from Nicholasville, Poe Dunk, Kentucky. Oh, the place sucks. No, I don't, man. I love it there. I'm not too far. Point right. Are you? I love it there, man, because I'm white trash. I can go down the fucking Walmart, and that's what's there. 
So I enjoy that. I enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to go and be proper, man. I can go in here and scratch my butt off. Aaron giggles. He like, he's like, you think you like Walmart, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, right. This dude goes to Walmart six times a day in different counties. <laughs> you want to go Walmart? <laughs> well, I like Walmart, man. I know? love Walmart, too. I've been kicked out of Walmart a few times. I worked at Walmart. How the fuck can you get well, kicked out had, of Walmart? They so, had, uh, uh, in the hunting uh, section, they had, like, dough urine and shit that you could just grab. Right. So me and my brother-in-law each grabbed one, took the tops off, and was running down <laughs> running down the aisles with dough urine, just making Walmart smell fucking terrible. <laughs> I worked at Walmart. Yeah, I worked at Walmart. How'd that work? Oh, it sucked. Did it really? I yeah. got kicked out for fondling the cheese. I think I would enjoy working at <laughs> Walmart. Walmart sucks to work at, buddy. You know, I think uh, I got fired because I got stuck in fucking traffic, dude. I was on my way to work one day and I got stuck behind an accident. It was at, at, at the Walmart in Ashland, Kentucky is where I worked. And uh, I was on my way to work one day, got stuck in traffic. Uh, Ended up being three hours late for work, dude. <laughs> from traffic. <laughs> from fucking traffic. Gosh, damn. And in Ashland, like there was a fatality and they had to close the interstate down. And the median is just a big ball of fuck. So you couldn't really pull down into it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and come back up. So I was like, well, fuck. Right. So three hours later, I show up to work and clock in, and by seven o'clock, they called me back in the manager's office, and they're like, "We're terminating your employment." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, what the fuck yeah. ever." <laughs> like, hey, how about go fuck yourself? Right. right, but I was there for seven months, dude. No shit. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool, and fuck you. I'm out. Yeah, I was the uh, service writer in Tire and Lube Express. Yeah, nice. You'd yeah. look like you would work in the tire and lube. Right? right? At least with right. lube. It, especially with lube. Yeah, especially yeah. with lube. <laughs> right. We were lubing <laughs> chassis, man, all day. <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. How do, how do you like um, working at your new job? Oh, man. I, I, I actually enjoy it. My no boss shit. is laid back as fuck, dude. Right. Nice. Like, she just don't give a shit. Is she hot? Yes. <laughs> well, that's always a plus. Does, yes. she, does she listen to the show? Uh, no, You're she does not me. as of yet. But she she yeah. uh, she told me that she really digs Three Days Grace, uh -huh. and I said, whoa, 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 whoa! I said, hold up. You're one of them. Cliches, I said, right. I said, the new Three Days Grace or the old yeah, Three Days that's Grace? That's the question you have to ask with Three Days Grace. Yeah, and she was like. Well, I like some of their new stuff. She was like, but I'm really a fan of the older stuff. And yeah. I'm like, at a girl. Yeah. Right. We literally, we seen, um, I've never seen, well, I've seen Three Days Grace live, but it was without Adam. Yeah. So it was with the new guy. Oh, so it was with Brad. Yeah. So I seen uh, St. Asonia, which is Adam's new band. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did a few Three Days Grace songs that he wrote. Yeah. And uh, I closed my eyes, and my wife was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, if I close my eyes, it's just Three Days Grace. Right. <laughs> and, like, literally, his voice is Three Days Grace. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, Adam like, Gontier, dude, he, it, he's... He's he is three days grace. Yeah. That's that's what we grew up on yeah. listening to three days grace. Yeah. And uh, you know, but I also have a personal connection to Brad because yeah. I partied on the fucking tour bus with my darkest days nice. when he was the lead singer. Nice. Yeah. They looked at us after the radio interview and they were like, you guys want to come on the tour bus and get drunk? And I'm like, fuck yes. <laughs> so we roll up on this tour bus, dude. 27 monster bombs later. Yeah. I'm off this yeah. tour bus, dude. And I'm just trying to fucking maintain. And like my bosses can see me struggling. The event coordinator walks up to us and says, all right, planet, five minutes until you bring My Darkest Days on. And I'm like, fuck, because there's 25,000 people on the riverfront yeah. and I have to try to act sober. So <laughs> we get up on stage. My bosses straight one of them takes the microphone. He's like, hey, everybody, I'm Nate. I do the Lex and Terry after show party in the middays. 
passes the mic over to my boss. My boss is like, hey, everybody, I'm Revis, and I do the afternoons. He was like, I'm passing the mic over to my main man, Slim, to bring on my darkest days. And I'm like, you guys are fucking dicks. <laughs> and I took that microphone, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, Slim. I'm <laughs> like, what's up, Arden? <laughs> everybody was like, woo! And I was like, ladies and gentlemen, my darkest days. And I had to hand the microphone off to Brad. Yeah. Well, when I handed the microphone off to Brad, Brad got in my ear and he goes, bro, that was a dick move. And I'm like, you fucking think? <laughs> well, look, Brad, I was really fucking drunk and I didn't want to lose my fucking job. Right? I just got fired from Walmart. I can't <laughs> right, right, bro, right. No, Walmart was after the radio stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that was yeah, that was, was post radio. <laughs> yeah, there's just some bands you change the lead singer. It's just not. Yeah, not the yeah, same. and and Three Days Grace is yeah. one of those it's bands. Saint Sonia, it's just Three Days Grace. Yeah, like, it sounds because of his voice. It sounds just like Three Days Grace. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I don't know. This is yeah, Jerry you know? doesn't listen to this That's shit. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, buddy? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, much about this shit bro. we are going to pause for some skull face records radio music you're listening to hashing it out brought to you by skull face records radio live from nick's bachelor party 2020 here's shelby lore and damn good night featured in a movie called the big ugly available now on amazon starring ron perlman skull face records radio <laughs> Slipped in. 
first of all, let me just say, it is an absolute pleasure to be on the Hashing It Out. Hey, bro, we're glad to have you here, man. That's all they Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, we're, we're, we're th- glad this, to this have podcast, you. listen, listen, let me tell you what He's this podcast is. He's been waiting to bust out that Walmart story since he got fired. This is his fucking prime opportunity. We got fired for fabbing in the great values. Those great value wipes gave me a rash. Uh, But what I was getting ready to say was hashing it out is actually literally one of my guilty pleasures. It's not one of those podcasts that you can like turn up and listen to in town. But but you guys are like a guilty pleasure of mine. Like it's one of those podcasts like you listen to when you're by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. And then you hear it and you kind of giggle along because you guys are awesome. Literally, we appreciate that, man. Anytime, yeah. anytime somebody's like talking about the podcast and they're like, "Oh, I need to listen to it," I'm like, "Well, keep your fucking children away and make sure." Oh yeah. Make sure anybody with sensitive. I always tell around. them, "Grab your earbuds." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Grab I, your always, earbuds. I always tell everybody, if you're a fucking Karen, don't listen to it because it's not. It's not your mama's <laughs> podcast. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk. Hey, about there you go. There's a new imager. About Betty Crocker or shit like that, bro. We're talking about. <laughs> Fucking Betty Crocker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hashing it out. We're, this we're, ain't your mama's podcast. We're, we're, we're thinking, does Betty Crocker shit and then eat her poop? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, are we going back to the two girls, one cup discussion man, from yesterday's so episode? Uh, well, we were listening to the episode on the way down here, man, so it's in my fucking dome. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I listened to it last night before I went to sleep. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah, dude. Every time you guys post one out, it comes up as a notification on my phone. Right. Hashing it out has a new episode, and I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm listening to that all day. His cousin says he goes to bed listening to it and he has some fucked up dreams. (laughs) Right. (laughs) We're we're trying to get it to the point, man, where we can do this on YouTube. Yeah. Video it and shit like that, bro. But I am not good with video editing at all. Yeah. But we're the type of That dude over there. That is there's the ultimate. The, <laughs> hey, drummer. That, that's the ultimate skein. And let me tell you what, dude. He's a fucking alien. I'm telling you, bro. He, Are you he, badass, bro? Ha, have you seen Sin City Live? Yeah. No, I haven't seen Sin City Live. Bro, get on Skullface Records on YouTube and watch Sin City Live. Okay. Okay. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like fucking VH1 behind the music. No shit. Yeah, nice. dude. It's badass, fucking bro. dope. Badass. It is dope as fuck. Can you make my dick look bigger? <laughs> Because I thought Nick was going to do that when we first started. <laughs> I don't know, Nick, but can he make they my just, dick look Just bigger? edit a couple more inches. <laughs> but no, just to the head. <laughs> so the head looks <laughs> Depends so the on head the angle, me. right, Ski? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm eating these fucking Skittles, guys. I don't know if y'all know or not, but they're bad to the bone. Bro, Bro. taste the rainbow. Eat all you want. So taste good, the rainbow. Taste they the are rainbow. good. I'm tasting the fucking rainbow. Man, this is I'd fun. fuck rainbow. Rainbow bright. <laughs> what? Rainbow bright. Oh, okay. You wouldn't? You'd fuck Takeshi 6 9 No, I would not. <laughs> I ain't fucking no rat. He looks like a bag of Skittles. Yeah, but he's... <laughs> no. He's not rainbow bright. He's No, he's thinking rainbow bright the doll from like the 80s. Exactly, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but Takeshi is also a Skittles. Yeah. Like he, do- he does look like fucking a ghetto... Rainbow Bright. Yeah, have you ever listened to any of his music? I have not. I have uh, not either. I have you? either. My wife likes one song of his. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, do you divorce her? <laughs> she does butt stuff. I gotta get over that. He said, baby, you just keep it right there. <laughs> right, man. Dude, I hate it because my wife, she loves all this new shit. Which, you know, I, I'm, I dig Post Malone. But... But she has my fucking kids listening to... I jumped my kid's ass one day. I was like, bro, you're listening to Almond Brothers all fucking day long. Oh, and because of their music tape? Yeah, man. Listen I'm like, whether you shit. fucking want to or not, you're listening to Almond Brothers, man. What are they to? Man, I can't even tell you, bro. I, it's... 104.5. Yeah, it's, probably. It's all this shit that's on the fucking radio and stuff, man. Same seven. 104.5, the cat. I just don't dig none of this. You guys can let every radio station right. in Lexington know that we have more rotation than every yeah. station in Lexington combined. Yes. More rotation bigger. Absolutely. And better, I think. Absolutely. 
Yeah. 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 Likes to get <laughs> Woo! Like my son likes fucking juice. Oh shit! And shit like that. Nick like, Flair's coming oh, out. Shit. Nick Flair's coming I just, out. I just saved a meme Woo! for you, bro, on my phone. It said, uh, "If you go into the mirror in the bathroom, turn off the lights and say." Woo! 15 times oh, that this oh, Rick yeah. Flair will pop up. <laughs> I was like, Nick would like that. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We had some wrestlers in here last night, man. They're wild. They're Bro, wild. one of them was named Debo. I was like, are you using lines from Friday? Please tell me you're <laughs> using like lines from so Friday. Yeah. So we have these wrestlers in here, right? And these are, you know, very tough, badass dudes. And Debo's never been on the radio station ever. And I interview the other guy first. As it gets to him, topics change fucking. You know, <laughs> I, I, I almost giggle because this is my boy. This is the dude when I was training in wrestling. These were my boys, man. Right. Yeah. And my first question to him is, what was your first porn experience? <laughs> <laughs> so his first one was everybody going around because we were different ages. We were like, tell your age. And then how did you become to your first porn right. experience? Because right. it's interesting. Because yeah. the different ages is different. Uh, I think yeah. we talked about it on podcast. We did. We did. He was like, you know, I'm. I'm how many years older? Yeah, I'm 42. A lot. He's 27. Yep. I'm 39. Right. So I get it. Hell so yeah. my porn experience, you know, was VHS. Yeah. Or Playboy or Hustle. Yeah. Play, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now these motherfuckers can just go on here and just look up. Hey, man, oh, I want to jack yeah, off can, to yeah. a bitch. You can accidentally write the wrong word. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Right. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Right. Jesus. We were talking about this too because my man loves yeah. midgets. <laughs> my man does a lot of midget porn. Gotcha. I, I don't gotcha. fap to a lot of midget porn, but I gotcha. watch a lot of it. Dude, you know if you're watching some no. fucking midget porn. Why do they have midgets in the old JC Pity catalog? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, exactly. That's fucked up. Yeah. I just want. I, yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> like if they just put out a midget porno mag, you know how small that book would be and how much paper yeah. you would save, yeah. and you could just make a bunch of. Bro, them. I literally don't think I could fuck a midget just for the simple fact that I am so big. You would not even be able to see them. What and what if I passed out? I'd kill the bitch. Yeah, accidents happen. What if she? What if she drank a bunch of these and was eating my ass? Yeah, and I fucking passed. Out. Oh, like, all of a sudden you hear vibration. It's her phone. Yeah. Stuck to your underlip, right, you know bro. I mean? Right. So you move and you realize she's dead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> no, bitch, keep eating. Yeah. Well, though, man, if you find the right ones, they probably pay for it. Oh, well, absolutely. Probably ninja chicks that want that big man. Yeah. You think so? Bring it the fuck on. I'm ready. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, every, every man's a big man to him. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got a point. You got a point. You got a point. Uh, but is like, everybody dude, in here going to fuck a midget, though? Dude, fuck a midget? Dude, midget play well, 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 that was well, 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 like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? What is, that is true. Well, well I mean, like, I'm talking like what this would fucking they, talk. How big is that? No. So, no? So, so when a midget has a centerfold, you just open it as that little, like, cardboard, yeah. uh, uh, like, you know. That's down where It's down where the barcode is. Bro, if you think this will. They don't fuck this one. It's got details at the bottom. If you think this is going to work bro i'll start up a fans only page let's man. get it man let's make some money baby you know what i'm saying Whoa. for midgets only put it on your patreon <laughs> yeah, yeah right right see my fat ass butthole naked talking about come here midget yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nasty as fuck. i just wanted to start like a midget dating site so they could find each midget other like, right there, yeah, yeah. Like, they already know where each other are they no. run in circles man yeah, but, <laughs> if you're in like a crowd and you're a midget you're not finding bro the they're on the they're, fucking yellow brick road homie what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah, not. Like the, Could you all imagine? have the little people call in? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Can you imagine <laughs> being a midget, you got being a midget call when that scene happens and, and, and that, on, on, that, on that movie? When all of the little midgets come out? That was probably like, you know, that was like embraceful. Yeah, that was their turning this, point. Everybody's yeah. in this. Yeah. This is yeah. our chance to shine. <laughs> <laughs> midgets are making a rise. Yeah. Yeah. Come and on, everybody. How many there are in the Oompa Loompas? Like how yeah. many all of them made it to the Wizard of Oz? There was quite exactly. a few. I mean, all of them. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. You know, like, I thought <laughs> Every they had like, a one real guild. Like they all were like, <laughs> seriously. The like, Midgets Acting Guild of seriously. America. They, 
That's how the they trash them, I'm pretty sure. I mean, uh, dude, this is fucking blown up. Like, I wonder, I wonder if midgets like enjoy on. finger banging a little bit better because our fingers are bigger. He's, you've been already deep. That's true. Yeah. How can I make this bitch come? <laughs> 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 I can only make her come. She'll come back. <laughs> hey, that's how I made my that's wife it. fall in love with me, bro. <laughs> 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 she made you fall in love with her. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. She's a hot one. <laughs> Found me a chubby chaser, and I was like, I'm going to marry this motherfucker. <laughs> my life's just what like the it? fact that I can almost lick my eyebrow. Gosh damn, son, that incited me. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. I like it too, cuz. You can pants off in front of me now. There you go. Yeah. There are options I'll here. I'll a cherry stem with my tongue too. Damn. Gosh damn, cuz I wouldn't be telling me Boner this. Boner alert. Boner alert. He's got fucking weird. Boner alert. Please, please drink this, Boat sir. Boat <laughs> Boat 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 now I know why your wife warned you tonight. That's right. Yeah. My wife said, don't, don't have sex with another woman. I was like, you want why in the world would you ever think that I would tell you that I'm having sex with another woman? Right, right. <laughs> No, honey, I'm gonna. Babe, I'm I not did gonna something. <laughs> right. It's the perfect <laughs> music. It's only men. I want you to know that I ate Big Man's ass. I got the perfect <laughs> music for this segment. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Was it a woman? Oh yeah. Uh. uh. Come here, uh. bitch. Stick my dick in your little midget pussy. <laughs> midget ass. Let me stick my dick in your midget ass. A midget pussy. <laughs> Midget, midget. Uh, where you at? Midget, fidget, fidget, go, my go, dick go, up in go, the midget. Go. Fidget, my dick up in a midget. Uh, fidget, uh, my dick up in a midget. When you represent the big man dick. Uh. Midget uh, pussy. Oh, yeah. That, that's our first yeah. single. That's our first single. Fidget, midget my pussy. dick up in a midget. <laughs> Top of the charts. Afternoon, you're going to have half the people out in the yard, little signs, picketing. <laughs> right, right, right. He has Fuck to you. Little Fuck signs. you. There's eight midgets out there, which is a little like a four people. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Three and a half people in the yard. You midget motherfuckers. Oh, I believe this? I could whoop the shit out of a midget, dude. Oh, I'm just gonna be I'll honest. Two. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'll do it one time, anytime, any place. Put them in, call in. Yeah, fucking midget oil rumble out. We are going to pause for some Skullface Records radio music. You're listening to Hashing It Out, brought to you by Skullface Records Radio. Live from Nick's Bachelor Party 2020. Brand new music from Dan Bowen. This is called Fallen. Skullface Records Radio. One, two.
of a light that shines as bright as the sun. Whoa, make all the darkness just fade away. Please. You are the one who catches me when I'm falling. Yeah. You can't stop this. So falling, falling. Broadcasting live from the Skullface Records Radio Studio, located at 102 Meadow Lane in Cynthiana, Kentucky. Ever and always we shall be Skullface Records Radio. Yeah, please, if you don't mind. If you want to stay, if you're ready to sit back down, Jerry, just let me know, bro. Man, this is an almost $200 executive big boy chair from Walmart. Bro, oh, damn, is it made of panda? It, <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it, it's uh, one of those Serta yes. chairs that they sell. Oh. It's like the executive, it holds up to like almost 500 pounds. And it oh, bro, I would, I, it's yeah. like sitting on fucking pillows and blankets. And that man. would make me happy, bro. Oh man! Man, I go get massages, right? And yeah. my biggest fear whenever I go to this massage parlor so mm-hmm. is that I'm gonna sit on this fucking table yeah. and the motherfuckers gonna Just break. Fucking break. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, gosh, damn it! Wonder what this fucking uh, weight limit is. My fear is, is like when I get completely undressed, it's like once they get down to my lower back, is I fart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't worry about that shit at all, man. I'm like, fuck it. If I fart, that bitch is going to smell it. She'll be fine. I'm just worried to get a she'll, boner. She'll be fine, man. <laughs> Do I? I'm just worried about getting a boner. Yeah. Uh, hey, my massage therapist, too, bro, she is Hey, she is bombed. Dude. Did y'all ever find out more information about that fucking massage parlor no, across from the well, twisted? No, I, I did. Yeah, she she <laughs> jerked me off. That bitch called me that night. Are was, you kidding? I swear to God, bro. bro. She called me and was like, "Where you at? Where you at?" I was like, "Man, I can't make it tonight." She's like, "Okay, you just call later." No. But they did. They did get shut down. But now yeah. they're fucking back open. Oh shit! Yeah. They did they get shut down for like butt stuff or what? Bro, bro all I'm saying is them fucking. What do you call them? What are you talking about? The Chinese people, cuz. Chinese people. What are you talking no. about? No. No, you <laughs> motherfucker. He calls them, uh... The I, Wuhan I, I clan? Made, no, I made, I made one comment last night on the podcast, and I, I called her an origami girl. <laughs> origami girl. Origami girl. Yeah. Hey, but them Chinese motherfuckers... That's a compliment. As fuck, right? Bro. They don't care. Right? They don't care. No, that's, that's still crazy, though. She she didn't understand you, and that's... No, she didn't get that, it that was, uh, that was one of the weird things was like when i was listening to i think it was uh uh the second episode in season two that's when you guys <laughs> called them yeah and uh and i was listening to that and i was like yeah she has no idea what the <laughs> fuck he's saying right now <laughs> i said well you, you massage my, my ass no she was like oh yeah yeah huh she <laughs> said she said you bring extra cash we do whatever you want <laughs> i was like fucking hey man this is gonna be fun right this is gonna She's be like, fun chug natty light. <laughs> yeah right. chug right. natty light eat butthole right. five dollar right. i asked her Watasaki. if she'd rub my feet and she was like no <laughs> no but she'll touch your pooper dude that's right. for sure. I, i'm okay with that fuck it uh, i don't blame her 
Oh, man. So, what guys, hey, listen. Here? So, here's what we're going to do here, man. We're going to play a game. All right. I and, love games. And what's, it's, it's kill, it's kill, fuck, or marry. Yeah. Kill, right? or it's, yeah. Marry one, fuck one, kill one. Okay. So, I wrote down six people here so far. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Caleb, I'm going to start with you. Okay. I'm going to give you three bitches. All right. And you tell me what you would do. What you would do with it. I smelled it, too. I did, too. You smelled good. Cherry. Emma Watson. Yeah. Anna Kendrick. Yeah. And Emma Stone. I'm going to fuck all of them. Well, no, bro. You can't. Yes, I can. No. Nope. You got to kill one. Fuck uh, one. Hmm. That's tough. It is tough, right? Mm. So, okay, man. Emma Watson, Anna Kendrick, Emma Stone. Fuck, marry, or I think kill. I want to marry Anna Kendrick. Okay, so you're going to marry? Yeah. That would have been my choice. Yeah. I want to, because I can keep fucking her right if I'm married to her. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. absolutely. Nice. Uh, and I get, you're going to fuck gonna Emma Watson. Uh, I don't know. I think I want to fuck Emma Stone and kill Emma Watson. Okay, so fuck and kill. Kill the bitch. All right, man. What about you, bro? First off, I would kill uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone, you're killing. Yeah. This thing's just too much, too bracket for me. Right, I get that. I'm with that. Well, you make her eat pillow, you ain't got to. Uh, that's true too. That's true too. Um, I would uh, fuck. Uh, Emma Stone or Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. You'd fuck her. Yeah. Redheads seem to like they want you to just fuck the shit out of them. Right. Yeah. It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and so you would marry Emma. I would marry Emma Stone because I think I would be like turned on every day with that British accent she's got. Like, God damn! I didn't even think that. about the accent. Like the, the American way, I wake her up and say, "Oh no, no, honey, you're supposed. This is American. You gotta wake me up with a blowjob." Yeah. Every so morning. you would marry Emma Stone. Oh yeah. And kill kill Emma Watson. No, marry Emma Watson. Kill. Emma okay, Stone. so vice versa. Yes, sir. Okay. What about you, my man. Uh, what he said, man. Okay, so <laughs> same. Slim. What about you? Man, come on, bro. Anna Kendrick. Oh, bro, she's she's amazing. So, I, I would I would marry her just so I could do butt stuff with her. Yeah, all right. yeah. And then uh, let's see, perfect I'd pitch. Probably right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make her sing like a fucking bird. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Emma, what, what'd you say? Emma Watson. Emma Stone and Emma Watson. Okay, so Emma Stone. I'll probably fuck her. Okay, you're fucking it. You're and, nice, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna kill Emma Watson. Okay, we're the same. <laughs> so, I, I think that I am. I think I am marrying Emma Watson. Yes, you will. I think I'm fucking Anna Kendrick, and I'm killing Emma Stone. Oh wow! Killing it, bro. Man, killing, killing that pussy. The Emma's just taking a beating today. Yeah. I'm hashing it okay. out. Okay, all right, Pete Gaines. So we've got three more that I wrote down. I've got Oprah Winfrey, yeah, Ellen DeGeneres, yeah, and oh. Hillary Clinton. Oh shit! <laughs> kill them, kill them, fuck it, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thing. <laughs> I think I'd fuck all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to start this one, guys. And, and I would marry Oprah. Yeah, Just money. for the fucking for the money. money. I'm going to marry for money. Just for the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would kill Hillary. Mm-hmm. Kill you if not. Uh, yeah, she would, oh, she would knock yeah. me off way before I could fuck her. Epstein. <laughs> and I would fuck Ellen DeGeneres. Well, that's going to be hard to talk her into <laughs> it. Hey man, no, I got this, bro. I got mad ass game cuts. <laughs> um, so what are you doing here, bro? I think uh, I'm gonna kill Hillary. You're gonna kill Hillary? Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Come on, bro. Think about this. Well, Oprah Winfrey is multi. I mean, this bitch is a billionaire. Yeah. I've never been with so a black girl though. I think I'm gonna fuck Oprah. You're gonna fuck Oprah. Yep. And you're gonna marry I'm Ellen. Marry Ellen, yeah. Fuck. So I can get closer to Portia. Right? <laughs> yeah, Portia's definitely the hottest. She's the hot one. Yeah. All right, Slim, what we got, bro? All right, so uh, mine's gonna be a little weirder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, would, uh, I would marry Oprah. Okay, that's right. 
because uh, she's a fucking billionaire, and I have yeah. been with one black girl, as a matter of fact. I'm on a marry for money. I have lost, I, I lost my virginity to a black girl. Wow. How was that, man? Talk man, to us here, bro. man, let me tell you something. Black girls are freaky well, as yeah. fuck. Freaky, baby. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, they are way freakier than a, than a, a squishy white girl. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> squishy white girl. <laughs> I like big girls, so, you know, right. I, squishy. I, you know squishy. squishy. Baby got ballet baby. But uh anyway, uh yeah, so I would I would marry Oprah, kill Hillary, right. fuck that bitch. Yep. And then uh I would uh I, I'd probably give Ellen a little dick. She needs to be dicked down. She's so you're she's been me. yeah, she's been uh she she's been scissoring for too long. She needs a dick in. <laughs> she needs some dick. Right? She needs some dick. <laughs> so what about you, bro? I'm gonna make this a dark as fuck, so be ready. Uh, we're we're dead. Get it, McCarty. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill Oprah in some sort of home invasion type of thing. Yeah, that's, nice. that's, yeah. like, that's how you get the money. I'm gonna fuck Hillary so I can keep her in a cage. <laughs> Anytime I want to, I'd fuck Hillary and then have her knock a few people off for me. Right. And the only reason I would marry um, Ellen is because we're both going to be fucking the same bitches together. That's pretty fucking good, bro. And, and, and when I shave, when I shave, I also look like a lesbian. So I think I <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. I like it, man. All right, guys. So we need three more people. Uh, Betty White. Okay, Betty. Mm. Kira Knightley. Yeah. Old, young, and, and somebody uh, in between. Kira mm. Knightley. Uh-huh. Mm. Julian Moore. Okay. Who's that? Julianne Moore? Yeah. You don't know who Julian Moore is? No, that's why I asked you who's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you ever see Boogie Knight? Yes. Redhead and Boogie Knight. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, bro. I Absolutely. Okay. I don't think I know Caleb. who he's fucking. <laughs> No, well, you'd be wrong, Betty. I'm fucking Betty White. Mm. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> just because... She seems Betty, like bro. she'd be down. Like, oh, if, yeah. If I wait, she's just gonna die, so I need to go ahead and fuck her. Right? Uh, Kira Knight and Julianne Moore. I'm gonna marry Julianne Moore. Absolutely. I'm gonna kill. Kill. You hear it in my... Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, I hear it. But I'll be over there to out, fix right? it in a minute. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go with this, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Betty White off, bro. This bitch. <laughs> go this ahead bitch and kill a so, national treasure, bro. Buddy. She's so God fucking damn. old, man. You know what I'm saying? She needs to be put out of her fucking misery. Man. What the fuck? She needs to be put out of her misery. <laughs> Ninety-three. I would, I would marry Julian Moore, and I would fuck your fuck your night. All right, Slim, you're next, bro. All right. Betty so White. I'm going to uh, marry Betty White. Okay. Because she's rich. I'm going to marry for money. Hey, yeah, she's about to die. So All of them's rich, though. Well, oh, that's smart, bro. Yeah. I wish I would have thought about that. Yeah, see? I just want to get and, up in uh, them wrinkled Karen ass. Knightley, I'm, uh, I, I ain't fucking the dog shit out of her, dude. We are going to pause for some Skullface Records radio music. You're listening to Hashing It Out, brought to you by Skullface Records Radio. Live from Nick's Bachelor Party 2020. Well, since it is Nick's Bachelor Party, we might as well play a song by Nick, and I'll play you one of my favorite ones. This is Away, Skullface Records Radio.
Slim Buddy, I love what you guys have done here, man. Yeah, it looks awesome. Dude. This is so fucking awesome, man. The, dude, it, it's all Nick, man. Right, when, right. When Nick came at me with this idea, he came at me 10 weeks ago, dude. Like, our, our, our radio station sounds like a radio station that's been around for years and oh, years. Yeah, absolutely. You can't have me Bud Light, bro. And, and uh, I think they're right there. Yeah, that's it. I mean, our radio station sounds like it's something that's been around for years but right. we've been here for 10 weeks mm-hmm. right but the first time nick came at me it he pulls out this t-shirt that's got two skulls with headphones on it and it says skull face records radio and i'm like bro i'm down to help you because i didn't have shit going on at the time you right. know so i was like i'm down to help you and uh so i started helping him and we started doing stuff and bro a week one week after i stayed here in cynthiana and started boom he comes and gets the keys for this place and then we start having musicians <laughs> in we start doing recording <laughs> sessions um you know we i mean we just start we've put out over 40 singles in 2020. Hey, bro, you guys have been nice. fucking rocking nice. it out. Dude. Man. And, and like you said, Nick is that driven purpose, man. He's Dude. Got a, he's got a drive about him that fucking rocks it. Whatever he we used, in, We used a clip from the interview that you guys did. Nice. Uh, from the very first one. You yeah. guys remember that? Right, yeah. We so did. we used a clip of that, and uh, Nick was like... Uh, Nick was like, as Jerry Hash says, and so I went and grabbed it out of the interview. So you hear Jerry in that little segment where uh, Nick goes, as Jerry Hash says, and then the next thing you hear is Jerry go, Nick, don't talk about it. He'd be about it. You know what I'm <laughs> when I remember whenever Nick came to me with this idea, he was like, look, bro, you know, me and Nick's been talking about this for a long ass time. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And whenever he was like look you know i know you want to do a podcast and would you do that i was like fucking a right man you know what i'm saying and so i like i have a saying that i live by man if you hang with trash you'll stink if you hang with stars you shall shine yeah <clears throat> nick's one of those people bro he's a star yeah so you have to keep him around you so you will be positive and 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 more go oriented to get your shit done yeah you know what i'm saying he pushes you yeah and that's what i dig about nick man yeah you know, yeah, man. He's been a good friend for many. He says I stole his fucking hat, bro. <laughs> but I literally do not fucking remember this at all. He says like when he was twelve years old, he had a Paris All Star hat, and he was wearing it. And he said, "You come over and punked him, no, and took man. his hat." He's lying. And <laughs> He's got the wrong fat guy, bro. Twelve years old. This is Jerry Hash. Give me your hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Jerry was probably what fifteen at the time. 
Well, I'm I'm 42 now. How old so is Nick? We're uh, Nick's 39. Nick and I are like three weeks apart from each other. Like he was born in on February 2nd, 1981. Right. And I was born March 10th, 1981. So we're like three weeks <laughs> apart from each other's birthdays. Bro, I did not steal his fucking hand. Am I the youngest <laughs> motherfucker in here? You hey, you might you? be. How are you? 27. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. I love the youngest. But you're yeah, the youngest. Candy Cane. <laughs> hey, Nick. Nick. Yeah. I didn't steal your fucking hat. Yeah, you no, I didn't. <laughs> I did not steal your fucking hat. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the wrong fucking fat guy, yeah. bro. <laughs> I don't steal people's fucking hats. <laughs> Bring that bitch with you, Jerry. <laughs> oh, Vanessa? <laughs> Vanessa? Vanessa? Where, where are you at, bitch? <laughs> where are you at, bitch? I had to do it. Here he comes. I had to. Here he Uh-oh. comes. Uh oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's, All right, dude. He's All right, dude. Right, right here is the, the all star Paris baseball player of all time. I'm like the baddest motherfucker there ever was playing at Garrett Park. Nice. And I earned this fucking all star hat. <laughs> all right. I was 12 years old and I got an all star cap for being the best. At what I fucking do when I do it. I'm walking Clintonville Road down to Rudy Brown's house from the trailer park, and I'm walking from there down there. Hash, hash like a fucking predator. He's like a goddamn wildebeest waiting for his prey to walk down the street. Is in Bradford looking at the fence towards Clintonville Road, okay? I'm walking down and he sees me, he says, Come here, man. Innocent. Come here, man. Hey, what's up, man? Let me see, let me see that hat, man. That's cool. I get close enough to the fence to where he reaches over, grabs it, and looks at me like I'm a little bitch, and I do nothing else but fucking leave because I think he's going to kick my ass. The reason I know it's true is because I went to Rudy's and lied. I was like, I went there, I went there, and I said, man, this fucking dude took my hat, and dude, I was like, fuck you, man. Give me back my fucking hat, and he was like, well, where's your hat? I was like, uh. I guess I lost it on the way through it all, but he wasn't going to punt me, but dude, I was scared to death. Jerry looked like Jerry at fucking 14 years old. This is true. This Jerry is looked like true. Jerry. I Jerry, didn't do it, Kevin. Yeah. Take his goddamn hat. He did. No. He He's probably still got it. Hey, He's, you want a hat? <laughs> why would I lie about my all-star hat? Listen. <laughs> But I would man up to that. You, you know did. What I'm you did. Oh I promise to God. I don't remember that. <laughs> you, it, it, so you, Jerry, 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 when you were in Bradford, when you were in Bradford, this would be the time to key up the G unit, the gangsta, gangsta music. <laughs> Because Jerry wasn't sweet, innocent Jerry at Bradford. I was. He was. He was a whiskey was. drinking, staying up late, dice throwing, hanging, was. hanging out, man, with the crew, baby, baby. We was down there with what Isaiah. S what's up, I was. Bruce? Yep. Listen. Yeah. Okay. I do not remember this, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say. I, I guess I can't say it didn't happen mm -hmm. because I was a dick. Mm -hmm. If I did it, I apologize. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. Oh. I appreciate it. I, I am sorry because that's not who I am. Okay. Okay. And I will. I am going to get you another hat. Well, you made it up to me, too. You might not remember this. Check I, it out. I probably don't. We're, we're at Bruce's house, and I stay the night. Bruce's mom was something else, oh but God, she would yeah. call my grandma and talk to her like a mom so I could stay out all night. Right. You know what I mean? Right. She would give me that okay, that clearance. And I'm staying on her house, dude. We were drinking 40s. I mean, we're getting down in Bradford. And I'm passed out. Jerry and Isaiah come into this house randomly in the middle of the night, I guess. And I'm sleeping. We were probably fucking They see it's and and that's probably why I was passed out asleep. But they wake me up. I think this is so cool, dude. I was 14 years old or something. I was I was younger than everybody that was there. And he they woke me up. And was like, hey, we got this. We want to smoke it with you. You want to get up, play some cards, or shoot some dice with us? And I got up and made about halfway through that motherfucker before I laid back the fuck down on the couch. <laughs> but it was so fucking cool. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, the fucking, the dudes of this fucking place got me up and was fucking kicking it with me and fucking chilling, dude. It was one of the coolest fucking things, man. I don't remember that either. Uh huh. But <laughs> you were lit, dude. He was on a lot of drugs back then. And it was, was late. It was in I the was. middle of the night. Speaking of the drugs, <laughs> I, started smoke, I started smoking weed whenever I was 13 years old. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've smoked a lot of pot in my life. And it's those people that say you don't lose your memory, they fucking lying. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I have lost my fucking memory. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs>
Absolutely. I forget some things. So like I said, bro, I apologize. Absolutely. But by God, you're going to get a hash and it out hat. Thank you. That'd hey, be absolutely, awesome. Absolutely, bro. Do I get you the first bro? one? Is there any other ones made? Not yet. Make sure Slim don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Slim's, Gee, thanks. Slim's like, our, Slim's like one of our number one fans, bro. No, oh, he's man. not like. He is. Oh, right. When he came in this morning, first off, I told him that I had a bachelor party today, and he's like, oh, dude, sorry, got to work. Then I said, hashing it out's coming. He's like, oh, man, they said I could get off at 12. <laughs> I was like, I feel you, man, dude. We are all excited, dude. There's a really cool energy in here with hashing it out, play, you know, going live in the studio. Mm. And we appreciate you guys coming up here, man. You guys fucking con- continue you, to do your all's fucking thing, man, and rock it out. I'm going to get up and chug a beer or something, man. Five minutes ago, this guy took your hat. I know. Right. And now we're best friends. <laughs> now we're on the same side. Hey. And I haven't let it go. But I haven't let it go. Hey, but I apologize. I know, and I, and I appreciated it. And I'm going to give you that. <laughs> I'm going to get you a fucking hat. Bro. I said it was okay. I don't remember taking it. <laughs> you know what's great? You know what's great? Huh. Out of all the shows that Hashing It Out has recorded, mm-hmm. that's the first time something has been hashed out on the show. Hey! Holy shit! Hey! <laughs> and we just hashed it out. Hey, but you We're know not what? doing a good job. Yeah, on every, <laughs> <laughs> every single episode, we give props to Skullface Records. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We give props to, to Nick himself. Yeah. We give props to a lot of fucking people, man. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We love you guys just as much, man. Uh, yeah. bro, it, right here, you push me, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. We We've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I love it, man. I dig the shit yeah, out of it. Awesome. Can I move in here? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I think we got an extra air mattress at the house, don't we, Nick? Well, I, I don't charge right? people. <laughs> but there's a natural light and... <laughs> okay, bro. Drink this and I'm going to let you eat my ass. <laughs> man, that's a deal Nick, if I've Nick's heard Nick's been doing sunglasses all morning. <laughs> He's been working himself yeah. up for this, hasn't he? He's just joking with his tongue. <laughs> I got really big ass, bro, so you're going to have to have your friends to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, help me spread this fucker's butt cheeks. <laughs> I bet your kids sometimes run through the hall. So. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. Absolutely. So. I, I do that when I go. <laughs> <laughs> Big man, here I come. <laughs> so, uh, now, I, I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this, but. Uh, I'm not gay. Um, so no. <laughs> no. <laughs> totally not where I was going. But uh, since you guys are at the home of Skullface Records Radio, why don't we play a song during your show? Why don't, why don't we play a live song during your why show? Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. Do it. Get guitar. Well, yeah. Yeah, man. You guys we got some live music. Tell you what the song is. I sense that everybody in this motherfucker knows it. Oh shit! Happy Maybe. Birthday. Oh Happy shit! Birthday. What's getting ready to go down? Is it Wonderwall? Two more guesses and you might get it. You start it off. Hey, what's the first? Uh, uh, why don't you start off? Me 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 me. Be our, our. Nobody knows the lyrics if you don't know it. Just sing it as dumbly as you can. Oh, I can uh, do that. Okay, because I, I would swallow my pride. What is it? I would swallow my pride. <laughs> I would swallow my pride. I would <laughs> choke on the right. But the lack thereof would leave me empty inside. inside. Swallow my doubt, turn it inside out. Find nothing but faith and love and love for my tender. My heart in a blender wants to spin around to a beautiful oblivion. Rendezvous, and I'm through with you. All I know is the chorus. Good job. Uh, uh, good job. 
right. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I That's how we do it. I listen to mostly 90 gangster rap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. You know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. Free bird. <laughs> Free bird. I, I listen to Master P and think about stealing little boys' hats and shit. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you listen to Master P and still little boys. <laughs> well, you know, the only relevance Master P has now is that he makes the same noises in his raps that we make at 40. Oh, shit. Hey, listen, guys. So I think because every time that we... In the show, we always come up with some kind of little song that we do. Okay. And I think we've been on here for a little bit over an hour. I don't know. Think? Let's uh, find out. Let's figure that out. Uh, We're at 58 minutes. Okay. Ooh. So, I, Slim, I think you should just play some random fucking oh, fun. Random all right. beat, and we all just fucking hash it out on the way out of this motherfucker, man. Because I'm ready for a cigarette. <laughs> uh, me too. But see, this is why when we do shows here at Skullface, what we do is we play music, and as the music's playing, you we go smoke. smoke. Well, that's fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> that is very smart. Let's say, drop the beat, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what have we talked about go, uh, in the show? Sitting here with Caleb. Down in Cynthiana, we got a whole crew. I don't know, I can't rap. That's okay. We're gonna fuck Oprah Winfrey because she's got money, bitches. Uh, yeah. Betty White, you're so old. You look like Julianne Moore. She got a hoe, a butthole. Oh, here we go, go. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if this was rock, I I'd be up. good guys, to go. Guys, seriously. Hey, we want to give a shout out to Skullface Records Radio. NewDimensionsComics.com. New Get your nerd on. Get your nerd on. Zap Splat. Why? We didn't use shit from Zap yeah, Splat. It don't Zap matter, Splat. bro. They still are good to us. Oh, okay. And then uh, Hashing It Out Radio, man. Hashing It Out Podcast. Hashing get, get it, it out. Uh, Come on, Casey. Yeah. Uh. End it. End it. <laughs> All right. You know what? Split end. the pussy like a Moses. I can't rap. So I make sex noises. Uh. <laughs> uh. Nick. Uh. Nick. Uh. What? Do you remember all the lyrics to Cold Chill? Or uh, not Cold Chill, but Starting to Lose? Sure. Hey, bro. Do your song about... Uh, I'm Kids not doing it. Cuts. God damn it. Kids <laughs> in the trunk. That's not, out. not appropriate. Let me out of here. I think I should all do Pearl Jam songs to make up all words. Kids in the trunk. Kids oh, in the trunk. Riding going? by the schools. We got a beat going, going and dude, it would sound perfect with the starting know, to on, lose. Enter into so my cranium. I for show we'll go, go kill, kill flow till the beat get cold chill. Uh, I. So ill. I for sure will go kill flow till the beat get cold chill. Here we go. <laughs> That's it, guys. Woo! That was cold yeah. chill yeah. by right. one part madness. <laughs> All I'm mean, curious about the kids in the trunk. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, wait, we gotta song, hear about man. the kids in the trunk. We got time. Oh man. Alright, so kids I made in the trunk. I made this song and it's fucked up, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Riding by the schools in my sedan. Tossing out candy cause I'm the man. <laughs> Asking the kids if they need a ride. They say no. I got a puppy inside. Kid, kid in the trunk. Kid, kid, kid in, in the, the trunk. trunk. Kid in the trunk. Kid, <laughs> kid in the trunk. Oh, this man. is why I love the show. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Ver verse two real quick. Again. All right. Turn, turn Getting them the in the trunk. Now that's the trick. If you want to grab them, then you better be quick. They start kicking and screaming, then they'll start to squirm. That's when I hit them with a rag full of chloroform. They go down easy, and I tie them with some rope. Better call her mom. She ain't making it home. Kid, kid. Kid in the trunk. <laughs> That's awesome. Peace.